Hello, ON6, you, you. I have a problem with my uh, HW8. It uh, doesn't transmit anymore. I, I can give CW, but I don't see any power on the uh, power meter. So, what I did, I started following here where the key enters the transceiver. Started to measure all the uh, voltages here with the star is the X with the with, with no star is RX every voltage was here every voltage was here every voltage was here the voltage here at uh, Q13 all the voltages again there um, the collector goes to 13 dot 12 volts when you key the transceiver this voltage arrives at the coil of the relay this is the relay and there is the old there is the old thing here it is so this is this is the relay the relay itself the problem is that I had no uh, when I put my meter on a resistance, I could not me uh, measure anything here. So uh, there was no resistance, but the meter didn't uh, go to zero or anything. So my guess is that in the coil, the wire is broken. Next step, find a relay with a good with it, which is a good match for uh, the, the HW8 and I found one 12 volt DC SPD T 6 amperes 6, six amperes uh, for 250 volts and it's a uh, it's a good relay and this is the schematic of the relay and here is where the relay is for the moment. 12 volts arriving here. The red wire is RX, the blue wire is TX, and the black wire goes to the antenna, which is also the common wire. So, let's do some power measurements. I'm on 40 meters, 2 watts. Oh, yes, did I mention I did put in another end? Uh, transistor on 80 meters I cannot measure for the moment because I am on an end fat this is 20 meters but I need to adjust of course wow a whooping whooping 1.2 watts Well, not bad. It's working again. That's uh, the most important. And finally, while the HW8 was open, I also inserted uh, some green lights, some green LEDs, to uh, have it uh, to have a, a, a more beautiful light. Something happening to the camera. <laughs> But okay, you know what uh, you know what I mean. You see it here. It's very simple, but it's a nice effect. The inside of a transceiver, which was. Presented as a kit between 1976 and 1983, it's all much smaller now. But this one, this is nice to work on. It's easy, and one can find an error much easier. My QRP corner. 
in the middle, below the IC703, on top, HW8, then a function generator I made when I was uh, 17 years old. And here we have the MFT40 double sideband transceiver, a uh, kit which uh, is at hand by uh, EA3 Golf Charlie Yankee, which I made. It's a 40 meter one, double sideband this one. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. And I'm also pleased that this one is working again. Thank you very much for watching. Owen 6 you.